Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. It's Josh. I hope you guys are still having a great quarantine. Um, I wanted to come on here really quickly and talk to you guys a little bit about some new native straps that I've gotten recently that I am absolutely loving. If you guys have watched my channel for any period of time, you know that I am absolutely super in love and totally loyal to Blue Shark native straps. Um, I have, I probably have at least 30 or 40 of these guys that I've just collected over the years. Um, every spring I'll buy, you know, a number of them so that I can wear them on all of my sport watches during the summer because here where I live in Austin, Texas, it gets to be just disgustingly hot and wearing a sport watch on a metal bracelet is just a no-go. So over the years, I have been hugely loyal and hugely um, faithful to Blue Shark. But recently, a friend of mine whose judgment on watches I trust absolutely implicitly recommended that I check out Crown & Buckle because they have a line of NATO straps called the Supreme NATO. Reading the reviews online of these guys, holy crap, they have gotten such high marks from absolutely everybody, from Hodenkey to Gear Patrol. Um, Gear Patrol actually gave these guys their editor's choice, so super, super impressive. Um, and I have to say that all the things I've read about them absolutely hold true. So the first thing I want to do is I want to compare the Blue Shark, the Crown and Buckle, and the Omega, and we'll see what's the same and what's different. And then I want to show you a couple different combinations and options that Crown and Buckle has that I really haven't seen from too many other places, and I'll show you a brand new one that I just got in the mail. Okay, so let's take a look at all three of these guys side by side. So we've got here on the left, we've got the Alpha Sharp. Here in the center, we've got Crown and Buckle. And then here on the right, we've got the Omega. Now you can see if we look at the nylon, the weave of nylon here between the three, the Omega is obviously going to have the nicest weave of nylon, given that it's 160 bucks, it better have the, <laughs> the nicest weave of nylon. But you can see here that the Crown and Buckle is really, really not that far behind it. I mean, it's a little bit looser weave, but still very, very nice, very, very comfortable. And then the Alpha Shark here is sort of the, I don't want to say it's its bad in any way because it's really not. It's still a great, great NATO strap, but it's just not the same kind of quality of, of nylon that we're seeing on the Crown and Buckle and the Omega strap. Um, you can see here on the Alpha Shark that the weave to create the racing stripe down the center is actually not, I don't believe it's integral into the main strap. It looks like it was, you know, done on top of the black, where with the racing stripe on the Omega and the crown and buckle, it's actually integral into the main weave of that nylon. So a lot nicer, in my opinion, I think, than the, than the Alpha Shark. The other thing that I think you can see that's slightly different between the Alpha Shark, the Omega, and the Crown and Buckle is that the Crown and Buckle has really robust edges here on the sides of the strap, kind of similar to the Omega here. And what that does is it prevents the nylon from fraying as you're wearing it out. So it's a little bit more of a robust edge, and you can see that that's really, really minimal on the Alpha Shark. You can also see here that the holes for the Keeper that are stamped in there um, are circular on the Omega and the Crown and Buckle and they're rectangular here on the Alpha Shark. I personally prefer the round holes because I think that these square holes have a tendency to come apart a little bit more. These sides, the corners here, can kind of tear a little bit more easily with a square hole versus a round one. Um, if we look at the hardware here, I actually prefer the hardware on both of these guys more than I do on the Omega. The Omega Keeper is nice. It's stamped with the Omega logo here, but this is really a kind of a flimsy clasp. I mean, even the way that the, the little buckle here in the center is. I mean, both of these guys are much, much, much more robust in terms of the quality of the clasp. These guys are both really nicely machined here. Um, I have to say, though, I prefer the buckle on the crown and buckle <laughs> a little bit better than the blue shark. This one, to me, this blue shark buckle is a little bit chunky, in my opinion, and I think that we get a nice balance between this guy and the Alpha Shark with the crown and buckle. I also like that the crown and buckle is not signed in any way, so that means that it's a lot more, to me, versatile, depending on what kind of watch you're wearing it on. You know, it doesn't have branding unto itself like the Blue Shark one does. Now, if we look at the rest of the hardware, here's where the, the crown and buckle, in my opinion, wins out over every other NATO strap I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of them, too. Um, we can see here, this is one thing that Gear Patrol actually noted in their review. This hardware is so, so well done. It is really beautifully machined, and you can see on the edge there, we actually have a beveled edge on that keeper. 
Can you see that there? So there's a little bit of a bevel edge right there. Um, that makes for some really nice light play, but it also means that this is a really robust keeper. It feels really thick, really hefty as you're wearing it and in the hand. These, I think, are my least favorite hardware between the three. Very, very similar to what we find on the Omega. The Omegas are slightly more square. These are polished, um, but same thing. I mean, we don't have any like kind of detail or three-dimensional detail on these the way that we do on the crown and buckle. You can see that there versus the Omega. The crown and buckles are just by far and away the best hardware, I think, on any of the straps here. So really, really love that. And you can even see the stitching, honestly, here on the crown and buckle is a little bit more robust. It's a little bit tighter, a little bit thicker than what we find on the Omega, and definitely than what we find on the Alpha Shark. See that there. So all in all, I mean, I really am blown away by the quality of the crown and buckle NATO straps here. I really, really like them. Now, this one is one of the newer ones that they have. You can see we have kind of like that James Bond racing stripe. But what's special about this particular strap is that I've got my C-Star here. And you guys know this has 21 millimeter lugs, which makes finding bracelets and replacement straps really, really difficult. But Crown and Buckle have recently come out with odd width straps. So this is actually a true 21 millimeter strap, which means that even with these kind of finicky, you know, odd with lugs, this is a true 21 millimeters and fits absolutely perfectly on watches like the Tissot Sea Star. If you have one of the new Hydro Conquest, the Longines Hydro Conquest ceramic models that also has 21 millimeter lugs, so the crown and buckle would work perfectly for you there as well. And check that out. I mean, that is a true 21 millimeter lug width strap. And look how great that looks on the C-Star. We're not seeing any of that kind of weird, you don't see any of the spring bar kind of peeking out on the sides there. It just looks great. So absolutely love it on there. Now, the first one I got actually from Crown and Buckle when my friend told me about it and I first started doing my research, I figured I'd go and get a basic black strap because on my Omega, for example, I don't think you can go wrong with that. And my buddy, my coworker Dan, who now watches my videos, um, I actually copied him because he recently got a black Omega NATO strap to go with his black Seamaster. And I'll put a picture here in the video. <laughs> I've also got one here on my Victorinox Maverick Mechanical. You can see this here. This one is interesting. This is the midnight color that they have. And what I really like about this midnight color is that it matches some of those warmer blues on watches that you, you it's kind of hard to find a match for that sometimes. So most NATO straps will come in kind of like a navy blue, but it's just straight navy. And so if you have a watch like this one or that new Hydro Conquest with the ceramic bezel, if you have the blue version of that, it's a little bit of a warmer blue. It's not so, it's not such a cool blue. And you can see here that we are getting a really, really nice color match with this strap and this particular watch. So this is another great choice. Um, this is the 22 millimeter version. Uh, fits really nicely on uh, a lot of these bigger watches, you know, that can be kind of bulky to wear on a metal bracelet. Again, that Hydro Conquest. If you have the 43 millimeter version, I think this would be perfect on it. So yeah, really, really nice color matching there. And then the last one I have, this one actually just came in the mail. And let me show you this guy. This is a beautiful kind of sand khaki color, really, really nice tan color. And what I got this for is during the summer, I tend to wear a lot of lighter clothes, blues, tans, beiges, that kind of thing. Um, I figured that it would look nice if I put this guy, my Omega, on a lighter strap so that I can have a super nice light strap. I <laughs> can't do this on camera. Okay, check that out. How nice does that look? And even though the watch is dark, right, the whole, you know, the watch, the dial is black, the bezel is black, everything like that, I think putting it on a lighter strap will really, really help to kind of bring this guy into summer. So let me put this guy on the wrist and I'll show you how it looks. And check that out. I mean, look at that color. Look at how nice that looks. I mean, I think this is a killer combination for summer. Um, let me pull back my glove here a bit. Like... How nice does that look, honestly? <laughs> I think that's such a nice color color combo. Um, I think this will go so nicely with like lighter colors, summer colors. 
I can almost even see wearing this into the fall because of, you know, it's just, it's a neutral tan. Look at that beautiful hardware. I think the hardware, honestly, is what elevates this particular NATO above some of the other ones out there. And this is actually a really nice length for me as well. I can kind of tuck it up under that first one and it's perfect. Um... I do wish that this one wasn't sewn in so I could pull this one and, and you know, get a little bit of a tighter fit, but uh, for me it's not it's not a huge deal breaker there. Um, oh yeah, check that out. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so anyway, as you can probably tell, I am head over heels for the Crown and Buckle Supreme NATO. This video has not been sponsored in any way, um, but I can definitely see myself getting more of these in the future, and yeah, I am just super stoked with these. I would highly, highly recommend you guys check these out no matter what kind of watch you have. I think the only downside really between this one and the Alpha Shark is that Blue Shark definitely has a lot more colorways available in all of their collections. Crown and Buckles, the Supreme Nato right now is kind of limited. I think most people will be able to find a nice color though if you can, you know, for whatever watch you have, but some of the more kind of... <laughs> what's the right word, like exotic colors or anything like that, you'll probably have better luck finding, you know, some of those special colors with Blue Shark. But for every day, for most people, for most watches, I don't think you can go wrong with the Crown and Buckle Supreme Natos. I am super duper happy with these, and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching another video. I hope, again, I hope you are having a great quarantine so far. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys soon.